Hello again everyone, just out and about for my uh, daily walk for the exercise, it's gone really well so I'm very happy with the progress on losing weight. I've come into town because you go up and down some uh, hills when you do the, the town walk and that means that it's a bit different to the other walks I've been doing which means you don't get used to what you're doing which is always a good technique because if there's one thing that uh, your body is great at it's getting used to things and then having the effects of those not work anymore so Basically, I've come down to, uh, it's a, it's a end of a road, it's a turn, but it's a nice walk up and down past the church. It's in the, the nice weather, so it's a good walk out. Now I'm going to go back up, back round to the front and home, which means I've got an extra, I don't know, five, ten minutes on the walk, which is always good. Anyway, let's get back. Hey guys, now I am actually filming this the day after the rest of what you saw for this video because Heat stroke is still a problem. I'm getting uh, through it, but it's still hot and humid. And as I've said before on, I think it was the last live stream, that a lot of people say, oh, Britain, it's got a little bit warmer and you're all having trouble. Our buildings are designed to keep heat in and the entire place, the entire country, when it gets a bit warm, turns into a sauna. So yeah, it's bad. <laughs> heat in Britain hits differently, but that's not what I want to talk about because for this part, I want to talk about what came in the post, and it's Amtix. Amtix magazine, it's back. It's not one I used to read a huge amount, I have to admit. For me, it was Amstrad Action. It was always Amstrad Action, first and foremost. But Amtix did get absorbed into Amstrad Action via getting absorbed into computing with the Amstrad, which I think joined with Amstrad Computer User, which became part of Amstrad Action. Or Amstrad, Amstrad Computer User joined with Computing with the Amstrad, I can't remember which, but they all ended up in Amstrad Action. It was the last man standing, essentially. And Amtix is now back from the people who made Crash. And I do collect Crash. I've got my little binder here with uh, the first five in. I'm hoping for a binder for Amsterdam Action as well. I hope I did uh, subscribe quick enough to get that. But I want to talk uh, first and foremost about this. And also to say for, right up front, that little piece there where it says uh, Amstrad CPC History Part 1. I wrote that. I wrote some of the uh, criticisms for some games in this magazine as well. So I did write it, I am part of this, I contributed to it, and my artwork is in it as well. The A team, those artwork pieces there, that's me. I did that. So first and foremost, straight up, I am involved. But this is still an amazing magazine. If you're into the Amstrad, this is the thing to get. Look at the quality, it's great. Screenshots are great, the layout is, a br is brilliant. That's actually one of my criticisms there. So, it's one of these things that's got a lot of information in. If you remember the Amstrad magazines back in the day, or in fact any magazines back in the day for computers, it's got the adventuring column, it's got some technical stuff in it. I believe Nova Bug wrote a piece on the hard... Yeah, Amtech, the piece on the hardware of now it's available to run stuff on the CPC. This is just amazing stuff. It's a guy written about the books and some of the software for creating games that's available. And the maps that you used to find in old magazines, oh my goodness, the maps. They were works of art as well as maps for games. All the reviews are here in great condition. Basically, if you want an Amstrad magazine, this is the one to get. And I say, I would have said that even if I wasn't involved, because like I say, I buy Crash magazine from the same people. I don't write for Crash, but it's here and it's great. And just having the magazine for your favourite computers again, like we used to when we were younger, it's an amazing feeling. So I am very happy to have this here. So guys, have a look. If you're into retro computers, there's uh, Crash for Spectrum, Zap64 for uh, the C C64, Amtix for the CPC, Fusion Magazine for retro in general and modern stuff as well, which is why it's like a Fusion. And I believe this Crash Amiga or Zap Amiga, I think it might be Zap Amiga, for the Amiga as well. So there you go. Amazing that we've got all these magazines back. Chris Wilkins uh, from Fusion Retro, you've done a great job. Guys, go and have a look. Link in the description. Right, I've got to get on because, like I say, I'm filming this the day after the last piece because I missed yesterday evening. Basically, exhaustion hit due to heat stroke, so I've got a lot of catching up to do. I've got a comic, not a comic, I've got a cartoon to finish for tonight from my point of view <laughs> and uh, by the time you see this from your point of view as well for the star trek show so i'll see you later take care bye bye oh so guys also 
I kept forgetting for the last few episodes to put the Patreon thanks on the end. I am so sorry. Guys, I am so sorry. It wasn't intentional. Just, I'm out of practice with making the vlogs and I forgot. Sorry. That's back. I do apologise. Really sorry, guys. I'll make it up to you on the, the Patreon. Don't know how yet, but I'll do it. See you later. Bye. If you like the show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really does help create future videos. That's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. And I've got an extra special thanks going out to Chief89, Sam Yates, Retro Mickey82, Mo Henry, and George Botterini. Thank you so much, guys.